Hi friends, today I invested 1 lakh rupees in this gaming stock. By no means I am suggesting that you also should invest in this stock. The reason I am creating this video is to share with you my thought process of investing in this stock so that you understand that investment in stocks needs to be on a rational basis. Throughout this video you are going to learn at least 5 to 6 important concepts about investing in stocks. So humble request watch this video without skipping. With that let's get this video started. What you see on my screen is list of 6 theme parks and gaming stocks and as soon as you see the screen what you will notice is that the sector PE is roughly 61 and if you look at these stocks out of the 6 three of them are having a PE ratio of less than 61. And more importantly, if you look at the Delta Corp, you will see that not only this stock is trading at a very low PE than the sector PE, it is also only 8% away from its last 52 weeks low price, which is extremely, extremely important because there is a massive correction in Delta Corp in the last few months and days. And if we understand the reason for this massive correction, and if we know that in the next few months or years, those reasons are no longer going to be valid. That means it presents a great opportunity for us to make extremely good profits in this stock. And I'm going to present you that analysis right away. Let us first have a look at the share prices of Delta Corp in the last five years. What you see on my screen is in the last five years, this has given close to 17% negative returns. And immediate question is Rahul, why the hell you are presenting this stock to us? Because this stock has given negative returns in the last five years. So point number one is that this stock I'm not holding or investing for long term. This is not a long term stock. My investment horizon here is two to three years only. And I've thought it through very, very clearly. The second point that I want to make is that you see the huge potential of this stock. If I show you the price at the Jan March 2020 was roughly 59 rupees. And if I see this segment of this growth here, it has gone up to 333 more than six or five times of returns that has given in only one year's time. But the biggest problem we see with this stock is that this stock has crashed like anything at least once here, twice here and thrice here. As long as we understand the reasons why the stock has crashed in these three instances and if we understand that in the next few months or years if those reasons are not going to play out potentially there is an opportunity here for us to make solid money in this stock. Let me now present to you why this stock has crashed in these three instances and understand the business fundamentals behind this stock and the risk associated with this stock. So if you look at this particular crash here, this was mainly because of COVID. As you already may know that Delta Corp operates casino businesses, offshore casino businesses in the ships. And what happened during the COVID was not hidden from everybody. The casinos were shut down. The stock was crashed. So we understand the reason for that very simple. But let us go back to this crash here and understand what happened here because from here up to here the stock gave a massive bull run and all of a sudden that stock crashed that is what we need to understand so there are primarily three reasons that the stock crashed from march 2022 to roughly june 2022 the very first reason was news let me show you what you see on my screen was that back in 2022 there was a negative news about delta cops one of the ship called Deltin caravella and there was a news that national green tribunal has asked Delta Corp to stop operating Deltin Caravella. What is this Deltin Caravella? Let me quickly show you some pictures. This is one of their offshore casino ships and you see the lifestyle that it presents. And it was in the news that National Green Tribunal had asked Delta Corp to stop operating Deltin Caravella because of which the stock prices crashed. One of the biggest takeaway from this is that news sometimes can kill the stock prices. It may not kill the business, but it may kill the share prices. So as soon as this news hit the market, shit hit the fan and what happened was people started to dump this share. Mainly Rakesh Junjunwala, who was a stakeholder at that time started to book the profit. This is a very, very important lesson for people like us. When a stock price is falling and you see that there is an opportunity for you to book your profits, do not just sit and wait there and, and let the stock crash what he did was at that time he started to book the profit there was nothing wrong fundamentally in the stock but he saw that stock is sharply declining so it's time to book the profit at that time he was holding along with his wife roughly 7.5 percent stake in the company and if you look at the data we will see that he sold close to 5.75 million shares in the company at a price of 167 rupees no one knows at what share prices he got these stocks but the point is very very simple and the key takeaway for us is that whenever 
we are investing we are investing for profits and whenever you see a opportunity to book your profit please do not sit and wait there please go ahead and book your profits now let me explain you the reasons for this recent crash that has happened and the position that i have taken right now in the stock and the main reason for this is the gst announcement on 11th of july so if i show you what has happened is on 11th of july gst council has imposed 28% GST on the online gaming. But the point that we need to note is that 80% of Delta Corp's revenues do not come from online gaming. They come from offshore ship casinos and they are already paying 28% GST. The question comes then why the stock has been crashed like anything. This has happened because of the second main reason that GST council has also proposed that this 28% tax will also be levied on the full face value. What it simply means is that Today in a casino, if a customer goes with 1000 rupees and if he loses 200 rupees because the chances of losing money is more in casinos, the casino earns 200 rupees and right now the GST that casinos pays is on that 200 rupees which is the retained earning from the customer. The proposal now is to change that logic and as soon as the customer buys 1000 rupees of tokens or chips or whatever through that casino, there will be a 28% GST on that entire 1000 rupees, the entire face value or the full face value, meaning that the customer will now have to pay 1000 plus 280 to even enter into the casino to buy chips or the tokens that they need to play. Because of this, the fear right now is that the customers are not likely to go into the casino because of the higher GST but then comes the main question that why have I invested in this stock let me now give you my rationale of why I have taken this position so far if you're liking my analysis hit the like button so that more and more people can be educated about investing in stocks in the right way now let me present you the reasons of why I am investing in this stock again this is not a stock recommendation please do your own research I'm simply presenting you my analysis reason number one is I consider Delta Corp as a monopoly stock because this is the only listed casino stock stocks in India. Casino stocks are considered sin stocks and many people because of their religious beliefs may not invest in such stocks. I see this stock as a pure play investment avenue. Point number two about this stock is that this stock operates in an industry where the EBITDA margin is extremely extremely high. Have a look at my screen if you see in the year 2023 they did 412 crores of EBITDA margin that comes to roughly more than 35% around 35% 36% of EBITDA margin which is extremely extremely high so it's a very profitable industry. Point number three is the type of the customers this industry or this company for that matter attracts. These are the customers with extremely high disposable income. These are not people like you and me who are going to casinos regularly. These are rich people and they are less price sensitive. The moment the GST goes up on the full face value, the revenues are likely to drop in the short term. But what is likely to happen is these customers will continue. It is very similar to the impact duties have on cigarettes where people are addicted. Here also, if you look at the customer behavior, these customers are addicted. They also think casinos as a lifestyle event and they have a high disposable income. So chances of revenue drops is not going to the tune of how the stock prices have crashed. Point number four that I want to talk about is that whenever any taxes are levied on any businesses, there is a very, very sharp reaction, which is unnecessary in my view. And as soon as that news settle down, what happens is it becomes a business as usual or BAU is what I call in IT, where people get used to the GST. You and me are paying 28% GST on many product and services. And as soon as these product and services started to levy the GST, we all were surprised and shocked. But over a period of time, we all have got habitual and used to this GST. I'm not saying that this is not a huge GST. I'm not trying to defend it. All I'm trying to say is that the psychic or the behavior that we have is that we get used to the taxes extremely, extremely quickly. And therefore, I do not think that revenues are massively going to drop in the cases of Delta Corp. And the last reason that I want to talk about is the valuation part. For that, let me quickly show you the screen. From a valuation perspective, if you look at the last four years earning per share, 6.85, minus 0.90, 2.51, And if we take an average earning per share in the last four years, it will come out to be roughly 4.51. And if we take 4.56, sorry, and if you look at the sector PE of this company, which is around 61, and if you multiply 4.56 into 661, we come to 278. So the fair price of this company share should be around 278. And even if you apply the safety margin, it is going to be somewhere around 220 or 230. Right now, the stock is trading at roughly 189 rupees. So from that perspective, looks to me undervalued stock. 
Also, if you look at the PE of PE trend of this stock, you will see that the median PE for this stock has been around 25. Right now, it is trading at 19. So it presents some good opportunity for us to take some positions, not a stock advice. Also, please be aware a massive risk that the stock carries, which is that if you go and have a look at the shareholders pattern, you will see that the public holding in this stock is roughly 42% and the promoters only have 33%. So that means that there may be chances where people are dumping the stock. So please be aware of these risks if you plan to invest. Let me know in the comments your views on Delta Corp. And also let me know in the comments any stocks that you feel are massively undervalued right now and are going through massive correction right now so that we all can learn from each other. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next video. Until then, keep rocking.